everybody uh, got the Eton out again today working on it um, it's a nice Saturday finally feels like fall and um, everybody's wanting to start to ride the four-wheelers and the uh, utility vehicles and stuff and get them out and play with them and so trying to get this one all tuned up and working uh, it's still dying on me uh, when I give it a lot of gas and go to take off start starts up and runs pretty good and idles well but then um, once you give it some gas it seems to die out so uh, been doing some reading looking up some stuff and uh, it seems to be a fuel related issue at this point um, so might make some adjustments to the needle position uh, in the carb um, and uh, all the jets seem to be clean. I went through there and uh, I've started adjusting the air mixture screw and the idle screw and uh, like I said I seem to have a really good idle. Uh, it's just when it goes to accelerate it cuts off. So the cat doesn't like this thing when it starts up. The dog's not particularly fond of it so we'll roll it out here. All right, so we got it outside, and uh, we'll just go on a quick ride and let y'all see what it's doing. And um, I threw that filter on there just as a temporary for right now. Um, <clears throat> That's nice, we're getting it to go forward now. And then it cuts off. Hold on. We have been getting a little further than that, so let's show this again.
so you guys saw what it was doing um, cutting off um, it's like it's running out of gas when you go to throttle it up so either the float is sticking or that needle needs adjustment um, so that it can dump more gas into the mixture um, with that air filter on there that I've got right now it should be pulling plenty of air um, I've adjusted the idle um, screw and the air fuel mixture screw um, and got that to where it seems to be running really good at idle um, it'll sit there and idle all day long and you can rev it in neutral um, but when you get on it and it's in gear it just cuts off um, so there's something going on with its starving fuel um, at least that's what we're thinking right now so uh, excited to get it running because it seems to be like a good running four-wheeler uh, way better than some of those like little china 110 atvs that we've been playing with um, this seems to be much much nicer uh, the suspension's nicer uh, the frame seems to be better uh, just everything about it seems to be better built uh, definitely these uh, go for more money um, you know, new and used um, than those uh, 110s. Um, you know, I may find one of those 110s if, if I don't get this running real good and the way I like it, and, or if I get tired of dealing with the gas oil mixture because um, it's a two stroke. I, I may pull this engine off and put one of those 110s on there because they seem like they have plenty of power and just use the frame and the suspension and you know the gearing and everything on this one um, and see if I can't you know get all that to work on one of those other engines but the goal right now is is to get this two cycle or two stroke um, you know original engine to work well and and perform well on this bike uh, they're they're known to do really well you can get these 90s to have crazy power uh, by doing some uh, upgrades to the carburetor and the CVT and um, and some other stuff to them. Um, so you know, I, I think that there's a lot to be done here. Uh, I was looking at a kit the other day to do a, 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 a carb upgrade. You put a 24 millimeter flat side carb. It's a PWK, I think flat side carb um, upgrade kit and it comes with new reeds um, and it comes with a new intake and it comes with a new um, manifold um, and, and everything so it was a pretty sweet kit it's like a hundred and thirty dollars uh, but I want to get this running first before I go buying more stuff for it um, unless there's something physically wrong with that carburetor I should be able to get this to run uh, really well with the stock stuff um, and then you know once I get that done and I can prove that it's reliable and works well and we can play around with it then I'll look at spending you know $130 on a carburetor performance upgrade but first I want to prove that it can run around the yard for you know a full weekend and, and not give me an issue so um, I think we're about to pull the carb off of here and check that float again and also check and see what kind of adjustments I can make on that needle and see if uh, one of those two don't fix her up because I, I took off the carb this morning again ran through it cleaned it out real good checked all the um, jets the jets were nice and clean uh, ran cleaner through them just to be sure uh, blew air through them um, and everything seemed to be really good so I, I don't think that that's where our problem is but uh, I'm new to these two stroke engines the four stroke ones uh, the carburetor seem way easier to adjust and you get set um, so as we play with this two cycle two stroke uh, we'll get it figured out you know I'm not scared to keep working on it and playing uh, it's a project I bought it that way um, it's a learning experience uh, so we're all getting to learn together 
Um, but fun, fun projects. Uh, thanks for uh, those that you are watching, um, obviously. And um, please like and subscribe uh, if you enjoy the content. Um, or if you want to see more of, of the kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Or the hound dog. Hound dog. <laughs> so, alright, that's all for right now. I'm going to pull this carburetor off. Um, I might do a video of that. But basically, it's you take that screw right there off, and the whole carburetor will slide out. And then this is your gas connection, your choke, and your throttle. So the needle's in here. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can't just pull it off, take these two screws out for the throttle connection, and then see what my adjustment settings are, what options I have on the needle there. I might just make that quick adjustment, pop it back on, take it for another test drive, and then um, see if that made the difference before I go pull the whole thing off and pull the bowl off again. Um, so I'm going to cut it, cut it here. I'm going to pull that off and, uh, we'll come back in a few minutes.